me ask you. What are atheists up to? And I tell you, the majority of atheists are falling into a trap. Mostly from the prevailing Judeo-Christian Islamic ethos that is prevailing in the world today. There is far more people that uh, follow Hinduism and Shintoism and Confucianism and the like than the Islamic Judeo-Christian ethos. But the people in the Western world, the Occidental, <laughs> if you're going to use terms, the Occidental, the West, is under the Islamic Judeo-Christian ethos or the Judeo-Christian Islamic ethos. Any way you want to put it, the order. It's just chronology. But the whole idea of Judaism was the Babylonians uh, adapted their own cosmic tradition or divine tradition and they saw it as such as being a subjective tool to use, a template to use against the world saying we're going to give you a heads up on how people are and you'll realize this when you're older type of thing. And they gave it to the Semitic tribes that were warlike and nomadic. And it caused them to sit down, you need to build a temple. Well, I guess we can't travel our own tents anymore because we need a freaking temple. And that's how it happened. It, it's, the Babylonians got it from the Egyptians and the Egyptians got it from the Sumerians. And it was just a rehashed and the Greeks refined it the most, and that's where the Christians took off from. The Gnostic Christians. It said, well, humanity is flawed, and we've calculated in a, in, in a philosophical sense how much it is flawed. And we've constructed a series of parables to uh, help your search through the mess of humanity to understand our flaws and to not embrace them but to understand them and the Christians kind of let's embrace our flaws and that's why God wants us because we're flawed and sin is something that we can't get away from so let's just deal with it but they got this from the Greeks who said civilization needs certain rules we need an objective set of universal morals to use and I'm going to give a shout out to Technoblix. And also for the original Sean that told me to wear the time travel hat because I have windblown hair today. That was a good thing on both points. But Technoblix is against creationists. And rightly so because most creationists follow this uh, Judeo-Christian Islamic ethos which is flawed to begin with and is just a template mind control instrument for monarchs to gain power. To say, oh, my circumstances are so much better, I'm so much more powerful than you. So on a, on a divine circumstantial basis, that has granted me this power. So not only am I stronger than you, it's granted from somebody that's watching over us and stronger than me and will smite you at any given chance if you don't follow my recommendations on what you should do with your sphere. The hydro hydrocarbons are getting to me at this point, and the music. I just want to dance. And I'm talking about Greek philosophy. Oh, the classic Greek philosophers are the basis of Christianity. That was the point I was getting to. And they, uh, define morals to rules of society and civilization and saying oh we're a, we're an animal that relies on community so let's uh, fortify that community with day to day rules called morals and they are objective and universal and the Christians made it into some somebody's going to strike you down with lightning or going to turn you into Job or something just because you aren't a good Christian and being a Christian is uh, assuming 
the role of a sheep and to realize that you're always flawed and there is nothing you can do about it. Well, you can probably never attain 100% perfection, but you can make progress towards the goal. And that's what the Greeks taught and what the Christians disregarded. So that's why I don't like the Judeo-Christian Islamic ethos. And I follow more to the Shintoism and Confucianism, which is more of an open philosophy to follow and not be, uh, had the sword of Damocles held over your head with the threat of being eternal, eternally damned for not following. Or you can choose between eternal damnation or eternal bliss. Eternal damnation or eternal bliss. Better get eternal bliss and it's one direction. It is in one direction. Subjectivity has a value. And objectivity is the boundaries. A world of psychotics follows a world of subjectivity. And you can test that for yourself. This is Augustus Lodge. I'm so lost in the new age right now. <laughs>